What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Pace Studio here in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. Uh, we are really, really happy to have with us today Mr. Russell Dickerson. Russell, man, thanks yeah. so much for coming and playing for us today. Dude, absolutely, man. All glad right. to be here. Yeah, yeah, we're glad to have you. Uh, you got a your debut album just came out, yeah. right? Last Friday, October yeah, 13th. like three days ago. Like three days ago? Yeah. So you are in the, the honeymoon period, so to speak. Man. Yeah? Yeah. Um, so that album is called Yours. And uh, it just came out. We're going to hear three songs from that record today. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the first one you're going to do for us. The first one is the first track on the, on the album called Every Little Thing. And that was actually, so we released an EP about, that was January 2016. So almost two years ago. Um, and that was like kind of our like, hey, here we are. You know, yours, the single had been out for a little bit for a few months and yeah. then we followed it up with the ep and uh that was the first song off of it um that we released more than just a single so yeah yeah cool man cool this song's called every little thing oh my baby she's alabama my dixie land delight She's kissing me like molasses, slow and sweet, uh-huh, just right. An endless all your summer, your sunshine 365. But when she forgets that punchline, it still gets me every time. Cause I love every little, every little, every little thing about her love. And just a little, just a little, just a little, ain't enough. I gotta get up, gotta get up. I'm all hung up Cause I love Every little, every little Every little thing about her love Oh yes I do Yeah she's Seattle and Sonoma Runs on coffee and red wine Easy like Sunday morning She's wild like Saturday night She's 24 carry goodness And angels all I see she dresses up for everything, but she only dressed down for me. And I love every little, every little, every little thing about your love. And just a little, just a little, just a little, ain't enough. I gotta get up, gotta get up, get a little more of what she does. I'm all hung up, cause I love every little. She's Alabama, my Dixieland delight She's everybody's dream girl But she's all mine And I love every little, every little Every little thing about your love And just a little, just a little, just a little Ain't enough I gotta get up, gotta get up Get a little more of what she does I'm all hungry Thank you, man. Yeah. That sounds great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious about this record. just came out. Uh, and so th the title of it is yours, and that was a single. That's uh, the name of the, the, the song that really kind of put you on the map, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It was a huge, huge hit on streaming services, satellite radio, back in 2015. Mm -hmm. And I know you'd written a lot of songs before that song came, came around, and you've written a bunch of songs since that song. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious, you know, when you get... You know, when you when you hit the hit the vein like that with a huge one, how does that kind of change what comes out of you after after that? It does does it sort of alter how you think about writing songs or how you want to create songs, or is it all just does it all just sort of stay on the same path? I think so. We wrote yours like March of 2014. Yeah. So we've had that song for a while, and that was I got with. 
uh, Casey Brown, who produced the record, and a friend of ours from Belmont, Parker Welling. And I mean, they're like fam. We were we've been friends forever. And they're like students at Belmont. Yeah, going back. Together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they're like our pretty much family. And so starting writing songs with them, um, yours was the second song that we ever wrote together. And so that was like our new standard. Like that was our new bar that had been set. So yeah, I mean, there there was that. That was in the back of our mind. Like yours is one of the best songs we've ever written. So like, it was, but it was good. It like yeah. held us accountable to keep writing at that caliber. And then you got the gratification of people loving that song, right? right. So like, it, you it goes out and people are like going ape shit for it. Mm -hmm. And so I, you know, my curiosity as a listener is like, you know, you've been writing all these songs and you know they they're they're good songs and you have this one song and it's just like you've raised your bar, mm -hmm. right? And people love it. Like, how does that alter your mindset? Like, how do you sit back down and keep writing after that? Yeah, it kind of, it's like, because that is a thing. It's like, I mean, you, but you can't let it like freak you out because that's, it, it's such, man, it's like so crazy to be a part of a song that's done, that's gotten so big. But then like, you kind of just put your head back down and just keep going and like, just keep doing what we do. And that's what we did is we got the song, we held on to it, we knew what we had. But I mean, we still still sat on it for, you know, another year and a half before it ever saw the light of day. Yeah, it's amazing. maybe two years, honestly. And so, yeah, it's just it's just kind of a, you know, we had to just put our head back down and just back to the drawing board and keep writing at that caliber. Yeah, at that right. Cool. Yeah. So uh, and that's so now you have yours. Now you have this record mm -hmm. full of songs. Yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about you're gonna do a couple more for us. Yeah, what's the yeah next a one couple you're more. Do? Um, there's one on there called Billions that's actually uh, same same co-writers as as uh, every little thing that I just played and yours the single um, kind of about the first year of marriage that we we did and like yours is kind of a wedding song and then like Billions is like the honeymoon because it's you know it's like an islandy kind of feel but yeah it's about our first year of marriage I think we made maybe like twelve grand total and so like we were so broke but so happy and we had tons of time on our hands as newlyweds and we were just like really just not on that grind yet of of this whole career that that's going on now and so it was just, that's just kind of it's summed up like and one of the lines is if loving was money how much you think we've made you know we'd be raking it in by the billions right so that's kind of where this song came from cool <laughs> Loving was money, how much you think we'd made Girl, if kisses were cash, we never stop making it rain, no The way that I picture it, our pockets thicker than Bill Gates Because if loving was money, we'd make it all the way to the bank, yeah Raking it in by the billions, cash stacked up to the ceiling Living on champagne and chocolate somewhere exotic Kissing on the beach alone cause we bought it yeah. Talking gazillions, top of fortune 500 chili Yeah, girl if love it was dollars you know we'd be ballers yeah. Break it in by the billions oh, yeah. If loving was money We'd never clock out a word, no, 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 no We'd stay extra hours after all the lights have been turned off, yeah If all my attention was Benjamin's, you'd have them all to burn Because if loving was money, there's no telling what we'd be worth Break it in by the billiards, cash stacked up to the ceiling Living on champagne and chocolate somewhere exotic Kissing on a beach alone cause we bought it Talking gazillions, top of fortune 500 chili Yeah, girl you love it was dollars you know we'd be ballers yeah. Break it in by the billions Oh yeah Make a little love, make a little money 
Make a little love, make a little money Make a little love, make a little money, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Break it in by the billions Cash stacked up to the ceiling Living on champagne and chocolate Somewhere exotic Chilling on a beach alone You know we bought it Talking gazillions Top of fortune 500 chilling Yeah Girl, if loving was dollars You know we'd be ballers yeah. Breaking it in by the billions. <laughs> Always a showman. Made us wait. You had to make us wait for that one. Um, so you know, I know I, I've been watching uh, a lot of like live clips uh, of your shows. You're you're a showman, you know, as yeah. I was saying. Um, do you do a lot of do you do a lot of settings like this one, like man and guitar? Is that something you've you've always liked to do? Yeah, I mean that's kind of how it started out. Was like I wanted to, I always wanted to play shows. Like I never went. People ask like, did you get your start on like the the cover band like Broadway downtown Nashville? Yeah. Did you cut your teeth in the smoky bars? I'm like, yeah, but not as a cover band. Like, it was just me and my guitar. I just wanted to play shows. Like, I just wanted to, you know, we'd get like five of us together, like five artists. And, you know, we'd do, man, like 20 people would show up. Yeah. But like, it was just, we got to play our songs. And that's that's all I wanted to do was just play these songs that I had been writing and um, play them in front of people and get out and do these shows. So it's, that's where it started was just me. Were there, were there shows like, you know, early, early yeah. on that you go back to as like the, the turning points for you, like particular artists who you really wanted to emulate? Um, yeah, I mean, just seeing like Garth Brooks DVDs. Yeah, that's what like sparked that fire inside of me was like his I think it's like live live from Dublin, mm -hmm. live in Dublin, where the stage is literally like a quarter mile, like <laughs> from side to side legitimately. And like, I mean, hundred thousand, however many thousands of people are there. Yeah. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like that is what I want to do one day. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's what I would just watch those. And then like seeing Keith Urban too, like that was a, his, his showmanship as well. Like just those, those entertainers are really well, like Springsteen, like watching all that stuff. Um, Making that connection with the crowd. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. And like, you know, so Garth is, is an interesting example because he's someone that I think of as being a country star who was never afraid to sort of mix in other elements into the mm -hmm. music. You know, he was always kind of a little outside the box. Mm -hmm. I know that's something that you've been doing in your music more and more. There's mm -hmm. a little bit more of a pop pop sound mm -hmm. in the record that I hear, a little yeah. bit more R&B in there. Mm -hmm. Has that always been part of your, your interest in music, your formula, or is that totally. more of a recent thing? Yeah, because like... So I grew up in a real small town until I was 10 years old. So that's like this rural upbringing. And then moved to Nashville when I was 10. And you would think like Nashville, like country music capital of the world. But in the school systems, it's not. <laughs> I mean, the, it's it's a, like a big city vibe. You know, it's a metro um, city. And so like there was rap around. There was, you know, Goo Goo Dolls. There was Red Hot Chili Peppers, Nirvana, yeah. Lil Wayne, like in sync legit like all this stuff was like just everywhere and so those all like affected my music yeah that's, you know? that's, that's interesting i mean it, you do you see like at someone being in nashville now do you see like that kind of difference in the music of people who were like born and raised or at least raised and people who have like come to nashville as adults you know just trying to make music like do they have more of a, they, a narrower concept of the music you want to make in nashville pro that's i mean not to generalize but i mean i i would assume so like if somebody's just coming up from georgia you know they're 23 years old then yeah i mean that's what they've been around their whole life yeah and they um, think of nashville as being a certain thing. right yeah yeah and they get there like whoa like <laughs> this is not as not as country as i thought it would be yeah which is cool. cool though because it like it makes it um palatable is that the right word for you know more people to listen to and like if my music is a little poppier or whatever but it broadens that horizon for people to listen to country music 
and then be like, oh, what what else is country music? You know, I might like an old George Jones record or something. Like, if my record is the vessel to that, then awesome. Yeah, cool. You know? I like it's cool the idea that like you know Nashville is a is when you're from there when you really have it in your DNA. Mm-hmm. It's it's more than just country music. Totally. That conception that I think people have of it is mm-hmm. like you go there, it's the rhyme and it's country music. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Um, so you're gonna do one more for us yeah. from uh, from the new record. What's yeah. that one gonna be? Let's do the title track. Cool. Yours. Yeah, man. I think that's the that's the request. You yeah, know? absolutely. <laughs> Can I get a drink of water real quick? Absolutely. Real quick. I don't wanna. Don't wanna suck. <laughs> How could that ever happen? And we're back. <laughs> yeah, this is the title track. Um, again, first song written of these songs on the record with this new crew that I just like tapped into. They're my some of my best friends. Written about a sweet, lovely wife. <laughs> I was a boat stuck in a bottle But never got the chance to touch the sea Just forgot on the shelf No wind in the sails Going nowhere with no one but me I was one in a hundred billion A burnt out star in a galaxy Just lost in the sky Wondering why everyone else shines out for me But I came to life when I first kissed you The best me has his arms around you You make me better than I was before Thank God I'm yours I was a worn out set of shoes Just wandering the city streets Another face in the crowd, head looking down, lost in the sound of a lonely melody. Empty pockets at a roulette, always landing on a lost bed. And just live for the spin, hope for the wind, go all in just to lose again. But I came to life when I first kissed you. The best me had his arms around you. Make me better than I was before Thank God I'm yours The worst me is just a long gone memory You put a new heartbeat inside of me You make me better than I was before Thank God I'm yours Cause I was a boat stuck in a bottle Never got the chance to touch the sea Oh, but I came to life when I first kissed you The best me had his arms around you You make me better than I was before Thank God I'm yours The worst me is just a long gone memory You put a new heartbeat inside of me You make me better Thank you, thank you. Thank you, man. It's yeah. a great song. Thank you so much. Um, so the new album <clears throat> is called Yours. It's a mm-hmm. debut full length, full uh, length from Russell Dickerson. Uh, congrats on that. You guys are or you're on tour. Um, I know I saw some dates coming up in the Midwest, I mm-hmm. think. Um, maybe starting later this week, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're kind of kind of flying all over here there on the weekends for the rest of the year. So 
come on out to a show. We're we're all over the place. Yeah, man. Uh, well, the, the the website is russelldickerson.com, so check out all the all the dates there. Go see yeah. this guy. Uh, congrats on the record, man. Thank um, you. And on and on the song and everything to come with it. Um, thanks for coming by Pace and playing for us today. Absolutely. We really appreciate it. Glad to be here. Yeah, man. Come back anytime and play yeah. for us again. Cheers. All right.